Good morning, this is Sam Gurum from B22 Limited bringing you this morning's market report. Uh, in short, this is what's been happening in markets in general. We've seen equities down this morning, we've seen commodities slightly down, commodity currencies are dramatically down, euro pound bullish slightly up overnight and dollar slightly down. The reason for this is basically on back of two major developments, China and Greece. Now in regards to China, we saw Chinese central bank devalue yuan overnight. Uh, how did they do this? They did this by basically cutting reference rate in China by 1.9%, which is basically monetary easing. Now the reason they did this was basically to boost exports in China. Now we're seeing a major economic slowdown in China currently. So on back of that, Chinese government by this monetary policy easing is looking to sort of you know, boost the export, therefore devaluing the yuan. Prior to this, um, their sort of uh, emphasis has been towards sort of pushing yuan up. That was mainly to uh, control um, sort of you know capital outflows. But right now, the downturn in the economy we've seen this year has led obviously uh, Chinese central bank to uh, devalue yuan dramatically. Now, how has this impacted um, equities in general? We're seeing luxury good makers down, car makers down, mining stocks obviously down, purely because what this means is uh, uh, um, devaluing yuan obviously um, reduces purchasing power of Chinese buyers affecting these companies out there. At the same time, Australian dollar and New Zealand dollar down purely because these are commodity producing economy and with yuan going down means that these economies may, may have to weaken their currency further to balance and boost their export. Hence the reason why Australian dollar down around 1% on back of this news. Aside from that, we also saw um, uh, major news coming out in Greece. Now in regards to Greece, the Greek government have reached an accord with its creditors in regards to terms of third bailout. So it means that uh, this has paved way for around 86 billion euros worth of funds being released. Uh, now this still has to go through Greek parliament, which is expected to go through tomorrow before being wrapped up on Friday when Euro area finance ministers meet up. So, short term, this will release around 20 billion euros worth of uh, um, funds for Greece to buffer up its bank, but also uh, for Greece to um, pay um, uh, ECB, which it owes money to on 20th of August. This has, on short term, uh, been a bullish news for Euro, and Euro is up on back of this news. Uh, moving forward, there's still further hurdles to sort of pass, but short term at least, there is an agreement looks like if this deal goes through in Parliament, which is obviously the likely scenario, Greece will receive funds to buffer up its banks. So that's it for today in regards to the two major developments, China and Greece. Uh, thank you very much for listening to Beats 2 TV.